Hi, this is Ned Siegfried from Siegfried and Jensen. As proud sponsors of BeliefCast, we hope you are inspired by Todd's weekly podcasts, which contain so many courageous stories of recovery and personal growth. Remember, it's not what happened in the past that matters, it's what happens in the future. We invite you all to work hard and be optimistic about your future. Enjoy today's podcast. Tiffany, welcome back to the show. Thank you for mm-hmm. doing this with me. Thank you so much. I love yeah. when you have me on and I just love our conversation. So yeah. thank you for the welcome back. Absolutely. Third time you've been on. Third which is, time. Which is an awesome thing. We're making this an annual tradition. We're going to do this every year. So yeah, we just decided <laughs> that. Uh, but thank you for all you do and for being here. And I'd like to also welcome everyone who's on the app and also listening to the Belief Cast um, for believing in me and following me. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. So thank you for the support. Mm. And it really, I take zero credit. It's it's amazing people like Tiffany who come on these shows and share some amazing things for all of us. I learned so much from, from my guests and Tiffany's at the top of that list. She's been on a few times, like we said, and we're, we're all blessed to have her here today. She's a seasoned speaker. She hosts her own high level podcast. Uh, she's an international uh, and national uh, coach. And she is a, a leader among leaders, in my opinion. Mm. You really are. The way you carry yourself is phenomenal. Oh, friend. Um, she, I mean, I, the list goes on and on. She's worked with, you know, Franklin Covey, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad series, Jack, you know, and Jack Canfield, creator mm. of the Chicken uh, Soup for the Soul series. And she's involved in so many things. She does courses. She does like I said, she speaks all over the place. Uh, she inspires not just women, which she has a huge following of women, but men as well. And I'm in that in, in that group. So Tiffany, mm. what a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. Can I just <laughs> share something? I don't know where we're going to go today, but I have a inspirational. Uh, hey, absolutely. Download while you were yeah. speaking is one of the things that I just appreciate about you is how genuine you are. Mm. And I think like just even seeing like your heart and the tears (laughs) in your eyes, but just to see that and to acknowledge that. And I think in a world that we live in and if when people we often, I'm on a show, I'm on TV, I have all these various things. It's like, we always want to talk about success and what creates success and success. Yeah. What creates sustainable success because sustainable relationships and influence, you have it. It's Uh, being genuine. So we live in a world today, it's like where people want to just always focus on, you know, what's popular, what's shiny, how many thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers do you have? What's the hot, shiny thing? Yeah. But what stands the test of time in a life is look for who's genuine in your life and Mm. spend time with those people because that will carry you through. And so when you reached out to me the first time a few years ago and we have several mutual friends and I'm back and I move my schedule for you because... You're just so dang genuine. And mm. I just want to acknowledge that right out of the gate. But it's oh, wherever we're going to go today is I think, again, we live in just this world and there's a lot of noise. And it's like when we come back to the things that fill the soul, yeah, that's how you create a life that's worth living and loving. Wow. Right. It's yeah. like, what's what's the meat, the real stuff? There's a yeah. lot of bright, shiny everything. But like, what's the soul and that genuineness? And so as you think about your relationships this year, right. that's a great barometer. It's like, who's so genuine in my life? And they should get more prime time in your calendar. Yeah, right. I love that. Thank you for anyway, sharing that. Anyway, just you wanted to share that off yes, the gate, out thank of the you. gate. That means a lot to get a compliment from you. And I do try to do that. I mean, I... You don't have to try. Yeah, it's who you that's are. true. And, you know, I, you know, for everyone who's watching and listening, I do struggle. I have my struggles like you all do. So I'm not going to pretend that I've got it all figured out, but uh, rubbing shoulders with people like Tiffany and learning from you and the principles you've learned and lived by and you teach every day. And you're, and I, I can say the same compliment back. You're one of the most genuine people I've ever met. So mm. I think we I got a good Todd. synergy. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, thank you for sharing that. You know, um, I want people to get to know you just a little bit. I know mm-hmm. you've been on a few times, um, but I, you know, I think people, when they see you, man, it's like, man, this woman's so well put together. Look how successful she is. And kind of like those things where you were just kind of referring to. But but you're also, you know, you've been through some things. And just talk a little bit about how how you got to here, mm. you know, and how how you, you know, carry yourself in this way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, like you just said, too, is that, like, I'm still human. I'm still in this skin suit. 
Yeah. And so like, I still have my own stuff I'm regularly working on, working mm-hmm. through my own insecurities, my own self doubt, my anxiety at time, mm-hmm. being bothered when people drive really slow in the fast lane and I <laughs> lose my like mind a minute for a minute, you know? Right, I mean, yeah. I'm still, let's just like still bring me into human. I'm sure. still a human. <laughs> Um, but I would say, you know, I think a lot of, of grace, right? I think grace is mm. not always, again, yeah. highlighted. And grace matched, though, with choice mm-hmm. and the willingness and the choosing is that I was having this coaching session this morning with a client of mine in Michigan. And and we were talking about things and, you know, why am I still, her question really was, why am I still where I'm at? And mm-hmm. I need to uncover what this big issue is or this big why. And I said, you know what, love? while there's so much value in the healing work and healing right. arts, yeah. and I've done those things and will continue to do those things, there's great value in therapy and counseling and coaching and energy healing. One of my mentors said to me once something that was like a huge light bulb, Todd, where he yeah. said, the why is the booby prize. Mm. Even if yeah. I figure out why do I sometimes still have insecurity? Why do I sometimes feel like I'm still in the eighth grade? I did get braces since we last were together. So that might yeah. have something to do with it. I wore braces like in the eighth, ninth grade and they're back on in my forties. Yeah. Not Well, hey, wear your retainer, get your wisdom teeth out, okay? Just some side there dips. There you go, yes. No one tuned in for that. But sometimes I still feel like as a grown woman, my insecure eighth grade self will sometimes still come up. Yeah. Right. Who's highly insecure. What do I look like? How do I sound? Oh my gosh. Am I like, do I fit in? You know, all yeah. of those things. We're still these tender beings that are working things out. And I said to this client this morning, what my mentor taught me, the why is the booby prize? Yeah. Meaning if she discovers, well, gosh, I had this experience, you know, when I was a child or I had this thing. And while we have empathy for that, it yeah. ultimately comes to choice. Hmm. It's who do you choose to be? Yeah. And what do you choose to create? And I decided a long time ago, I got really clear that it was like, I want to be a value creator, a VC, mm, right? Yeah. Sometimes we hear VC and we think venture capitalist, which is great too. Sure. But it's to be someone, I'm not perfect at this, but it's the decision and it's the lighthouse for me. That's like, I want to be someone who adds value wherever I go to mm. everyone's life, Yeah. where I'm at. Now, do I always live that? No. Are there times again, like I'm still like working it out or I have my judgments come up for sure. But I think choice is, is really the trump card. And, yeah. and it comes down to that is we all have various upbringings. We all have different influences. But, you know, in American cinema, one of the things we love to watch is the rags to riches story. Right. We see that theme yeah. played over time and time again. Or my life fell apart and I've rebuilt my life, yeah. you know, or whatnot. And regardless of our circumstances, well, they definitely influence us. I mean, Mm -hmm. we have to acknowledge that's true. The home you were born in, the neighborhood you were born into, right? Your race, I mean, your I mean, there's things that of course, like we're not playing dumb to that. Right. But ultimately it's the human soul. It's like you have the ability to make choice and changes. And so choosing, so at some level, I would say the combination of choice and grace, when Mm. you say, how'd you get here? Some of it's grace and God's doing and the universe, like there's just things that you can't like, I woke up today, I couldn't control that. Yeah, wow. Grace, I woke up today. Now what I do with the day, I have a lot of influence too with my choices, my thoughts, what I surround myself with, what I read, what I listen to, what I put in my body, which by the way, this morning, can I just re- reveal Please, this? Cause yes. I can think this is good balance is I did yeah. a workout this morning uh-huh. and then I made bacon and eggs, high protein, right? Cause I'm on yeah. high protein and more weight lifting and right. all that. And then it was my birthday recently and I have birthday cake in the fridge. So I legit like bacon, eggs and a huge piece of chocolate <laughs> birthday cake was yeah, breakfast that's today. That's a good combo. I mean, balance, right? Yeah, balance. <laughs> right? Balance. But by grace, I yeah. woke up today. Yeah. What I do with the day, there's still grace around it, but it's all mm. up to you to choose. Yeah. And so when you say, how'd you get here? Well, grace and yeah. choices. Wow. Beautifully said. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think we take that gift of choice for granted because I, I work with a lot of clients too, like you do, where... They don't think they have a choice in the matter. Right. And it's and I love what you said. I, I, I can choose who I want to be and how I carry myself in my mm-hmm. life. And I just think we take that gift for granted. Choice is powerful. So I think powerful. I think um, it was Viktor Frankl that said this, so I, I apologize if I get this the, this um, wrong. But he said between stimulus and mm. response, there is a space. And in that space, we have our power to choose. Yes. And I, and I just think we take it for granted how great that is that we have that Mm -hmm. you know it's so true and i think even sometimes if we're in challenging circumstances Mm -hmm. maybe a relationship we're in is not going as well or as connected Mm -hmm. as we'd like or 
you know, we're maybe not in our dream job. Right. And in some ways it's like, ah, you know, but we have choices in those environments or circumstances to, again, like, well, how am I going to show up for me? What am I going to read or choose to do or choose to focus on or yeah. find the good while I'm there? Sometimes I coach heavily in the entrepreneurial market. Most often people hire me to say, I want to grow a business, a platform okay. or a side yeah. hustle. But that entrepreneurial spirit is most of my clients, some corporate, but most of them are more entrepreneurial okay. uh, by nature. Yeah. Or if I'm in corporate, it's usually folks leading big companies and we're still yeah. working with the entrepreneurialism of that. Right. And it's interesting and sometimes people will say, gosh, I really want, you know, my side hustle is not quite ready to replace my income or I'm working at that, but I have this job and I just don't love it. But, you know, I got to have the job to pay the bills. Yeah. Right. That's circumstance. Yeah. And I just invite them to have a, re, a perspective reshift, reshift on that, which is yeah. choose to see that job currently as your business loan, hmm. you know, that's helping you while you grow this thing. I like that. You know, it's yeah. just the way of like feeling gratitude in the moment. Show up and add value there. Again, I'm a huge believer of add value in any environment. Yeah. Right. The way you treat the janitor and the way you treat the CEO, hopefully are the exact same. Mm. Right. And it's yeah. like you just never know the environment you're in. But whatever your thing is and that you're up to in the world, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're in health and wellness or technology or you're a fellow coach. Right. Is that we're all in the people business. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like show up and add value. That's your purpose. Right. Wayne Dyer said that he says yeah. your purpose is found in service. And so when you think even if this isn't my quote dream job. Or my relationship isn't necessarily where I want it to be. It's like, well, how will you show up mm. and show up there to add value, show up to, you know, put the a, a better influence of energy in that right. space and choose into that. I know it's not always easy, but that's not I mean, life isn't always easy. Right. And so it's choosing how will I show up and and choosing into that thought process, I yeah. think, makes a difference. Yeah, I love that. And, and we do get to choose how we want to show up and. I've been in those jobs before where I was like, I hate this job. Yeah, like this job I can't is driving do it. me nuts. Yeah, I cannot yes. do this. And and when I focus on that, then it becomes a miserable place. I'm miserable. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> well, misery is a great motivator for change, though. Yeah. yeah, it is. Where it's also like, okay, I better get my resume up or go back to yeah. school and take a class or exactly. build that side hustle income to a legit income, you know, whatever. It's like pain is a great motivator for yeah. change. Yeah, can I can I share a little story yeah, on that? It just came to my mind right okay. as you said this. I was working at a grocery store. I didn't like it. Yeah, hated it. If I could be honest with you, and I, I go show up for work, and half of our crew that was supposed to be there called in sick, didn't show up, mm. and this truck backs up that I have to that we have to unload. And we usually have five or six people doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm the only person there, and when they open it up, it's 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 back to school and it's paper. It's just. Mm -hmm. on these pallets that had tipped over. Oh, shoot. And so I had to unload <laughs> hand by hand each piece of paper, and paper's heavy. And the whole time I was going, I, I, I was saying to myself, I'm going to school. I'm going mm -hmm. back to school. I am not going to do this the rest of my life. Mm, interesting. And so when you said that, that's what came mm -hmm. to my mind. It's like, I had a and moment like that. did you do like that? that? I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went and got my degree yeah. and things like that. So that just really hit me when mm -hmm. you said that. Well, sometimes we get a wake up call, right? We have a health issue that flares mm -hmm. up or something. And it's like, we're yeah. going to change our life because of that. Yeah. Or this case, like I'm miserable and frustrated. I'm going to create change. And yeah. so it's sometimes realizing that that pain has shown up is your li in your life actually is a gift to be a catalyst for change. Right. You don't have to like it, though. I'm, right. I'm definitely not like, you know, a Pollyanna Mary Poppins like, oh, <laughs> yay, love that. Yeah. But it also is like, I am going to always bring us back home to truth, which is you're the creator of the quality of your life and you can always make a new decision. Mm. Whether you choose to stay or go, or if you're gonna be there, what you're gonna choose to do within the space. Like you always have choice within your own world. Yeah. And sometimes seeing that as like, yeah, that self mastery. Yeah. It's like, I'm not in my favorite circumstance, but it gives me opportunity to practice. Or it also is a catalyst, like you were saying, to motivate you, like, I'm going back to school. Yeah. I'm going to change my path. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You know, you did a, a post, I think it was this morning. It may have been last night, but I saw it this morning. And it, you were talking about consistency. And I've got something I want to share on that. But <laughs> okay. I want to hear your thoughts on that and what that means mm -hmm. to you. you. And you said it so simply, but yet so powerfully. Yeah. The, the poster quote was simply this, is that everything you want is on the other side of consistency. Mm -hmm. 
right? And I just love how simplest, simplistic that is, yeah. right? And how empowering that is, is that I, I think when we release, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. And that's what the one sentence was, was yeah. it doesn't have to be perfect, just keep at it. Yeah. And so whether someone's wanting to grow their social media channel, or their podcast, yeah. just keep at it, Yeah. right? I mean, you and I both have shows, Yeah. and now, I mean, your show, you've been around even like double the time of mine, and but there's just consistency, Yeah. right? And it's like fitness and health and wellness for me is like, I have a personal mantra that I move my body every day. Yeah. Now, sometimes that's five minutes on a, the yoga app, yeah, or it's, or, you know, a 30 minute bike ride, or yeah. a yoga session, or a hike, or whatever. Um, and but the commitment is what I'm after and the consistency versus I got to do it perfect. Right. And so like I would never have, I think about my very first live event, right? Back in 2010. <laughs> yeah. So I'm 13 years in. I just celebrated my 13th year of business on January 4th. Congratulations. Yay, That's thank amazing. You. And um, I think about my very first live event I hosted, rented a hotel room, marketed it, and shared yeah. it and put it out there with my tiny little network at the time. And mm -hmm and no email list and no website even at the time, but just put it out there, invited people to come to my one day workshop that we called success strategies. <laughs> How's that for a yeah, sexy right. name? Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, like whoa. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Three ring binder, you know, but I yeah. rented this little room and so forth. And I had 37 people sign up and come to my very first That's workshop. That's impressive. Yeah, and tell yeah. you now, behind the scenes, that 30 of those 37 oh. people were my family and friends just doing me a major solid. <laughs> totally. Right? Yeah. But it's like the willingness to go for it, the willingness to try, and what right. I call it, your willingness to take imperfect action, mm. right, yeah. is that, that permission. And so you don't have to get it perfect, you just need to get it going. Right. And then the willingness to stay consistent. And so for me, my very first little workshop you know, really had about seven signups, right? But yeah. hey, I've now hosted events that were my own events where yeah. I had more than a thousand people in the room right, fly yeah. around from all over the world. I've been on yeah. several other platforms yeah. with thousands and thousands of people in a room at a time. Yeah. And I'd never have what I have today yeah. if I was still waiting for it to be perfect. Mm. And so the combination yeah. of those two principles together is, yeah. am I willing to take imperfect action? Like when you asked me, how'd you get where you're at? I've yeah. taken a lot of imperfect action. Sure. And that requires that. some courage, yeah. right? And it requires some, because sometimes you look like a ding dong. Yeah. You know, you put things out there, they work, they don't work. Can yeah. we say ding dong on the show? Yeah, I think okay. so. All right, yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's okay. G-rated. <laughs> um, but it's just like the willingness to try and be consistent and continue to work at the crafts and continue to, to try things and put them out there. Yeah. But that consistency is... That's like the magic sauce, yeah. right? Like I'm in the best shape of my life right now than I've ever been in. Right. And I mean, even we're talking like my 20s, whatever. And it's just like, because I've been consistent, mm. yeah. not perfect. Right. And not every, t every day is this major sweat session. I'm having chocolate cake at breakfast, clearly, <laughs> right? Like it isn't about perfect. It's yeah. the consistency of habits that more often than not, I am eating pretty healthy and clean, right? right? Hydration, prioritizing my sleep, mm -hmm. you know, but moving my body regularly. It's like whatever the goal might be for any of us yeah. is consistency is your best friend, yeah. not perfection. Because that, that doesn't even exist. Doesn't even exist. Right. But I giving yourself that, that permission because too many people are doing what I call they're getting ready to get ready, 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 yes. to change, to click publish, to write yes. the book, to start right. the business, to do the thing, right? And it's like release the perfectionism, yeah. go for it, go match for it. then yeah. just keep practicing. Yeah. Yeah. Very well said. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank you. You know, <laughs> it's funny because I'll get people calling me and I mean, I know my podcast is doing well. I'm not dumb Your to that. Your podcast rocks. <laughs> Let's you. be honest. Okay. But I, I really don't walk around thinking that if that makes sense. I'm not sure. Like, oh, my podcast rocks. Like I'm a real big deal. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. And I have people call me, hey, Oh, your podcast how, how did it get so mm. successful and when they when i hear that i'm kind of like okay yeah um and i just go i'm just an average dude who just went for it yeah and um and what i always say i go if i can just tell you one thing i've just been consistent yes i post one every week mm -hmm. i posted one every week for the last six years that's, that's all i've done i haven't done anything special just posted once a week but then then also i have to give credit for people like you who come on this show and share some amazing things, but 
I, that really hit me this morning when I saw your mm -hmm. post about consistency. That really mm -hmm. hit me because I thought, man, in so many areas of my life, when I when I can look back on mm -hmm. success, it's because I was consistent, mm -hmm. just like you said. Well, I remember something about there's a quote that's out there. I might butcher this a little bit. That says something like, "If if you're committed, you will get it. If you're consistent, you will keep it." Mm. Like think about how many things yeah. like sometimes sometimes our biggest challenge in life is the success we've achieved. We get lazy yeah. or we quit doing the things we used to do. Like yeah. I think about relationships, right? Yeah. Like the relationship rate of and I've lived through some of this myself. It's like a lot of people get married, you know, or get into relationship, but staying in relationship. And not just staying to stay, but being in a thriving relationship is, yeah. are you consistently, again, not perfectly, because no partner, I'm not perfect, no one's perfect, but are you in a committed partnership where there's consistency of, yeah. hey, I'm making the effort, I'm doing the things that nourish the relationship. Right. I'm doing the things that nourish the body, that nourish the business or the podcast. Yeah. Is consistency, again, not perfection, but there's right. this like, hey, I'm doing things regularly. I mean, it's like, you wanna learn a new language, you totally can. Yeah. Even, no matter your age, it's just, am I regularly or consistently practicing that new language? Exactly. Right? So, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. So, you you know, you mentioned, we mentioned this before, you do a lot of speaking events. What are what are some of the things that you learn from people? I know that's a big question because mm. you hear from so many. But if you could maybe point out one or two things that you have gained and learned from listening to other people who have been to some of your events, what would it be? Like what they've take, taken yeah, away what they've from taken it? Yeah, what they've taken away, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's a combination of, I speak heavily on self-care and self-worth matched with then sales training, which mm. is kind of an interesting yeah, combo, right, yeah. right? But it really is the inner work and then the skill set to create, but it, it, they're actually very well connected. And so not always at first glance, but you think about like how I feel in myself, how I show up for myself has everything to do with my energy and my self-confidence. Okay. And how yeah. much is energy or confidence influencing a sale? It's a huge influence, it's big, yeah. right? Because people mm -hmm. wanna be led by high energy, confident people. Again, not perfect, but that you're in that space. And so I'm in those two topics a lot. So okay. when people are in an audience of mine, now some audiences were more heavily on the sales training and some were more in the personal growth in a retreat doing sound bowls and you know right. dropping into all this deep personal <laughs> yeah. growth. Yeah. But those are the main takeaways is but ultimately what happens in any room I'm in is the power of making decisions. Yeah. Right? I love to lead out and end my keynotes with the question, what decisions do you need to make? Mm. Right? Yeah. Because we there's plenty of great content out there. You have a great show. There's so many great YouTube and podcasts and mm -hmm. audible books and right. books to read and seminars or coaching classes to go to. We're not lacking for content. Right. Where people are struggling, myself included at times, like where is, am I applying it? And so I always love to bring people back to, not that you're surprised, but the choice is the ultimate piece here. Yeah. Is what do you choose to do, choose to be, choose to create? And so I love to lead out with and end with that same thought or question, which is what decisions do you need to make? What actions do you need to take? Yeah. And, I, and I love to even say, you know, great coaching won't change your life. It can inspire you. But sometimes, and I'll say this language in a, an event, I'll be in Tampa, Florida next week on a stage and I'll say it there too probably, yeah. is that like, sure. if you've ever been to a personal development workshop, you've been to one, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Right? And it's like, I mean, I've been to all various levels of them, <laughs> yeah. even including Tony Robbins in Las Vegas. And I came home like whipped, like, yeah. oh my gosh, get me out of Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Not for the casino or the part, any of that. It was like Tony Robbins worked me over. Yeah. <laughs> but you get into a workshop seminar environment, you know, or you get, you hear something so inspiring on a podcast mm -hmm. and you get what I call the hopium high, right? Yeah. You're all hopped up on hopium, hope, yeah. hope, hope. Like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh, this is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Which those are good things to do. Put yourself in environments that inspire that. That's a sure. good thing to feel. Yeah, right. But sustainability or tr true transformation in your life come from decision points. Mm. And here's a mindset thing I just invite any of you listening to yeah. consider is we often have a story that change takes a long time. Would you agree with that? Yeah. 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 Change takes a long time. Mm, possibly, yes. I get that there are certain habits and things to shift. We don't build yeah. a house overnight. We don't lose 50 pounds overnight. We don't put on 50 pounds overnight, right? Like, right. it doesn't happen. But what happens in an instant mm. is a decision. We say, I do, 
I'm done. Yeah. This starts today. This ends today. No more. Or this is the thing I'm all in for. I'm going for it. We click purchase. We do the thing. We start. We stop. We sign. We declare. Happens instantaneously. You change your life in a moment. Hmm. Literally. Yeah. Now you might need time to back up that decision. Tell me about the emotion you're feeling because it's all in your face, in your eyeballs. <laughs> But can you relate to that? It's like well, probably <clears throat> moments. We all have them. If we go back, that was like, what was a crossroads moment yeah. where you made a different decision? Mm -hmm. For sure. Right? For sure. So what where I, What I'm feeling is I I'll, I remember that the day, time, where I was when I decided I was done with my addiction. Yeah. I was done with alcohol and drugs. I knew it. And, and it was in an instant. I said, I'm done. I'm done. It's over. I'm over. There was yep. no one there influenced me in that moment per se. Right. I, I had help along the way, obviously, and you know, higher power things and stuff. But it was in that moment when I said, I'm done. And that's why I got emotional because I relate with exactly what you're saying. It can happen mm -hmm. on the spot. Your emotions contagious. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel your heart because I yeah. know that without being there in that moment for you, I know that to be true. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is that as humans, different than any other animal, is we have a consciousness to say, I can make a conscious decision. What are you choosing today? What are you choosing this year? What are you choosing this month? Right. Right. In my habits, my thinking, my thoughts, my behaviors, my choices, I'm getting help. This yeah. starts today. This stops today. I do. I'm done. Right. And so it's just the awareness that we often, we have stories about how hard change is and yeah. these things. And while I, I understand that being in a human experience too, yeah. but actually your decisions happen momentarily, instantaneously when true again decisions happen. And so yeah. that's why when you ask me like, what is someone gonna receive if they come to this event or that event or this thing and that thing, there is various content being taught, but where we always come home to is, is what decisions do you need to make? Yeah, I love that. Because each person's their own. So if we, you know, if there's a yeah. hundred people in a room, yeah, 100 a hundred people point. are having a different experience in the room based on their circumstances, their needs, their emotional uh, situation, what's happening for them. And they can hear the similar content, but what decisions they make will heavily influence, of course, what they go on to create. Yeah. 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 But awesome. knowing you have a decision and a choice brings us back to empowerment. Yeah. Love it. Versus to you, like your path of like, you know, feeling so powerless to an addiction mm -hmm. and yet still in that moment of feeling and those, all of the ins and outs with that and the brokenness and the challenge and the highs and the lows, the relapse, all of the things that have happened. Yeah you still were like, that little flicker of flame was, I can make a new decision. Yep. And yeah. you used it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, wow. <clears throat> I just love you. <laughs> you're making <laughs> me cry here. I love when we get together I in know. these conversations. Yeah, no, you're. Because you're again so genuine and you're willing to bring real. And that's yeah. what I think, <clears throat> people are craving real. Yeah, yeah, I Right, agree. when you think about yeah. it, it's like, give me the real talk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, thank you for sharing that, it's so yeah. beautiful. You know, so you're doing all these amazing things. Again, I, t I tell you this all the time. I love the way you carry and live your life. What what gets you out of bed in the morning? Like what what ignites you to do what you do? What well, is it's it? a little harder to get out of the bed in the winter time <laughs> right. right now, right? Because yeah, it's all snuggled perfect. in, yeah. <laughs> cozy. Yeah. Here in Utah where we live, we're getting a thriving winter, which I'm grateful for. Yeah, we, we need, need the water it. and I love to ski. So thank for you, sure. snow. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, I think like most people is that, I mean, there's part of me that just wants to be a smarty pants and be like, well, I need to get up and use the restroom, Todd, you yeah. know, that gets me out of the bed. The well, that gets me too. <laughs> but no, I mean, truly it's just like being part of things that matter. I think for all of us is we all need hope and we need purpose. Mm -hmm. And so whether you have littles in your home, that's not my case and scenario, but yeah. if you have kiddos in the house and it's like, I got to get up and take care of this little, my little band of my crew and yeah. you know, to purpose and to work that you love and getting up. But my, my days typically start with some kind of what I call a morning ritual. And so mm. I'm, I'm conscious to not start my day on my technology. Yeah. I'm conscious to be more intentionally start yeah. my day in prayer, meditation, reading or listening to something nourishing. Um, but at least what I call the sacred 10, the first 10 minutes of my day starts mm. with something that nourishes me. That helps me then feel the purpose, the okay. vision, the intention of like, I want to be connected and love and, and, you know, moving myself forward in that way. It's like, that's, that to me is what helps me get moving. 
Yeah. You know, and I'm, and again, human too is certain commitments or things and desires and goals. And so it's like, it's all kind of, you know, blended together, but a combination of purpose and drive and commitments and yeah. you know, things of that nature. But okay. I think all of us, yeah. we are purpose seeking humans, Yeah, you know, and it's, but again, your purpose is going to be found in some kind of service, whether it's the littles in your own home yep. to, you know, work and creations and other relationships or being part of something like the work you're up to in the world is so meaningful where you're helping other people in their journey of healing yeah. and bringing, holding them you know, in that space of like, come home to their truth yeah, and come back to what's, you know, truly powerful. Yeah. yeah um, morning routines big for me too. So yeah. I can relate with a lot with what what's you're one saying. of your favorite things of your morning. You routine? know, I, I like to say it like this. I pop out of bed like a piece of toast. <laughs> do you really you just get off and go mind over mattress? Yeah. And when I stand up, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I love that. It's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I look at my mattress. I'm not getting back in there. Yeah. Nice try. See, my mattress is a seductive, like cozy <laughs> no, That's little, what I'm saying. I have to like go. It's I have like, to fight can you it. just come back and yeah, like breathe please. for a little while here, yeah. which I often do, but it's like, okay, I got I to gotta yeah. move on. But one thing I've done, and I, I learned this from my mentors, I get up and I stand up and I literally spread my arms out and I set my intent for the day. I love this. Like this morning was, I, Todd, am full of light, love, and energy. Today's mm -hmm. going to be amazing. I don't hope. For success today, I expect it. Mm. I demand it. And I swear I feel the tiredness leave my body because I do want to hop back in there too. I'm the yeah. same as everybody else. Yeah. And that's how I start my day. And then I do a thing called my hour of power. Yeah. And I I, I call it my morning meds. <laughs> I love it. It's my morning it's medication. It's so true. And it keeps me, and my mentor taught me this 30 plus years ago when I was just getting out of my addiction. He's like, you got to incorporate a morning routine. Mm -hmm. And so when I hear people talk morning routine, my ears perk up. Mm -hmm. And I love what you said. Stay off social media for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Well, imagine I give this example sometimes and people kind of laugh about it, but it's like, and we've all done it, right? I've laid in bed and scrolled my phone and right. whatever. Yeah. But it's just starting your day that way or ending your day that way is not the most nourishing way to wake your brain up or put your brain to bed. Right. And so giving yourself a little bit of space to breathe through it. Yeah. But there's a lot of inspiring things happening on my phone in certain apps. For sure, you yeah. know, so, mm -hmm. but it's also imagine as if, let's say, you know, you get up and your phone's the first thing in the day versus you and God. Something I yeah. heard years ago was meet with God before you meet with the world. Mm. And whatever God means to people watching or listening, and it's like, but some kind of prayer, meditation, or reading or listening to something that's nourishing. Yeah. Yeah. Is you start your day with your higher power or your higher purpose, mm. and you nourish that first. Yeah. Then it's like, Okay, now you move on to work and things. But I use this example sometimes is if you're still laying in bed and you check your phone and let's say there's three or four or 24 text messages. Imagine if those four to 24 people now just came into your bedroom and that's just text. <laughs> right. Now you check your email and you got 17 yeah. emails over through the night or coming up first thing in the morning. Imagine those 17 people are now in your bedroom with the other 24. Wow. Now you scroll your Instagram and you catch 35 accounts, maybe more because then you watch some stories and yep. scroll, yeah. or and then Facebook and then LinkedIn. Imagine it's like some wow. of you are starting your day with 100 people in your space. Dang, I've never thought of it that way. And that's like a that lot really of opens. energy, because everything yeah. is energy. That's the gold yeah. mine. Mm. And so it's not even if you just did, well, I only did 10 minutes of that or 17 minutes of that, but every one of those interactions opened a, a browser in your brain. Wow. Energetically. I never thought Even of when you're way. scrolling yeah. fast, your mind's going fast enough to say, do I stop and read that? Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting too. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Your brain's making that ma a fast decision, but mm -hmm. you're still registering every, and imagine again, it's like some of you are yeah. starting your day with 50 to 100 people and you haven't even got out of bed yet. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, hey, come get in my bedroom space. It's I like, know, I was mm -hmm. visualizing all these people uh, surrounding my bed. Like, I don't want to talk to you guys right yeah, now. Yeah, give like, me some privacy. <laughs> Let me have a, a little time. Yeah, that's a good is way to put it. Is that like before yeah. you meet with the world, mm -hmm. is you first meet with yourself, your higher power. Yeah. And so I think I one that. of those personal boundaries, right, is a great way to then start your day. And what you did, thank you, because I think that's so powerful, is then you declared and reminded yourself mm -hmm. of your purpose and your yeah. intention. Because yep. sometimes you wake up and maybe you didn't get the best night's sleep or had a, mm -hmm. an off dream or something, but you're still using coming back to like, okay, I'm going to get grounded into choice. I'm going to yeah. affirm this. That keeps gets me out of bed in the morning. 
Well, yeah. to be honest, I was nervous about today. I'm Why? not kidding you. I, I don't know. You You're know? such a pro at this. <laughs> but that's that's why I set these intents because it helps me get, okay, Todd, Yeah. why are you worrying about this? Because I had to say the same thing. Why am I worrying about yeah. this? But I was. Yep. And I brought myself back to where I needed to be and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's these little things. Again, we're human, like we said. We, yeah. You but know? see, why I love this conversation is even that just blessed me where I'm like, yeah, I need to out loud state my intention. I often will, I don't do this every day, but gratitude's part of my morning ritual mm -hmm. at some point. Whether I, today I wrote it, right? I don't always yeah. write it in my journal. Today was a writing day. But I, I often will speak out, you know, thank you, God, yeah. for another day. Again, yeah. I woke up by the grace of God. Absolutely. I did not control if I woke up, wake up woke or, not. or not. Exactly. And it was like, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And so it's some form of that, but I appreciate your intention of like how I'm going to show up today. Yeah. And just declaring that. That was a really powerful little gem oh. that you just shared with all of oh, us. Thanks. I've I've there's a study out there. I don't I can't cite it and I apologize, but sports science has proven when you say something out loud, it's 10 times more powerful than if you think it. Mm. So I've always just like I'm going to say it out, out loud if I wake up the, the family with it, I don't care. I'm saying it out loud kind of thing and it really, I feel the tiredness, like I said, leave my body. It's it's the most amazing. And I really don't, oh, I'm not yeah. getting back in bed. I'm not I doing just, it. But, and the anyway. reminder what we could be here for eight hours <laughs> I know. is the power of the mind. Yeah. Because oh, you just boy. told your brain is that yeah. a gun. I remember Joel Olstein once saying, you're feeling what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes as humans, we all want feelings. Yeah. Feelings are what run the show of why you're doing for or not sure. doing something. Yeah. Right? If when you say you want a goal, I want to make more money, I want to run a marathon. Do you really? Right? <laughs> Some do, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But you're after a feeling often in every goal and what you're wanting as humans, we're such feeling emotional yeah. creatures. Mm -hmm. And so often it's again coming back to it's like you're feeling what you're thinking. And so you just told yourself, this is what I'm thinking. And it, you say, I literally feel the tiredness leave my body. Because you mentally just put yeah. your brain in a thought pattern that mm -hmm. said, I am this man. Yeah. I am this warrior on purpose. I am up to this work in the world today. Yeah. And those are powerful declarations. I love what you're sharing, though, is to say them out loud versus even just think them or, yeah. you know, it's like owning it is so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying all that. That's yeah. so beautiful. Man, I, again, we could talk for hours. <laughs> we really, truly could. Um, one last thing. I, if, and you've already said some amazing things, but if there's someone who's out there watching us, listening to us, that's struggling, they're in just a dark space right this moment, what's mm -hmm. what's one thing maybe they could do? And I know you talk about what decisions do you wanna make? What are you gonna do now? But what could you tell that person that might be in that space right now? I just say like, my heart, so I'm just tuned into that, is like, I just say, hold on just a little longer, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. And I honestly, what I feel is like this motherly nurturing of like, come sit over on my lap, come to my house, get on the couch, I'll make you hot cocoa. Right. Let me just cuddle you yeah. because I get that as a human. I've been her mm -hmm. before, Yeah. right? Or, and you've been him before where yeah. it's like, I've been in that those spots where it's really hard, it's really dark. Yeah. Hold on a little longer, Yeah. right? If you can, go for a walk, move your body, call a close friend, read or watch something that nourishes you, pray ask for divine help, right? Prayer is so powerful, Todd. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was recently traveling in uh, internationally down to a orphanage in Mexico. And I, while traveling, lost, lost misplaced, somehow went missing my purse with everything, oh, like boy. my passport, yeah. my ID, oh, all my credit cards, a favorite lip gloss, important <laughs> to know. Right. Probably the most important thing in there. No, but <laughs> just losing, and it was a huge thing yeah. around surrender, but I dropped into very deep prayer and um, just that all would be well and that I still could, you know, help be part of leading these volunteers for this mission that we were on for the week, yeah. you know, the service mission. And it was, everything worked out. And I, I messaged a couple of groups of friends who are real prayer partners Right. And just, just like you understand, like coming out of addiction, you had to have support and people you can call on when you need it. And it was like the power of prayer is real. Yeah. I'm not saying not everyone, some people get triggered that prayer has to be to a certain religion. And it might be that, but it's bigger than that. Hmm. Is whether you are in a church building or you're on a mountaintop right. or you're in the slums or you're in a mansion, right? You don't have to be in a certain spot, right. sure. but it's just like asking for help. And whether you say God, universe, Jesus, Buddha, the angels, 
but prayer is powerful. So the person that's like, I'm in a really tough spot, hold on a little longer. Yeah. There's wow. goodness out there. You're yeah. loved. Your life matters. We need you. There's only one you that will ever be on the planet, ever. You're not replaceable. Yeah. You're not. You can feel you're, you can feel replaceable. You can feel discouraged. You can feel hopeless. Feelings are powerful. You can feel them, yeah. but your truth is you're powerful. You're loved. You have purpose. Yeah. If you're still alive, you still have purpose to be done. Right. Right. Yeah. And so, but you know, again, get out in nature, fresh air, get some good sleep, reach out to trusted friends, right? Or even calling an anonymous hotline of getting some support as well as absolutely activate prayer in your life. Love that. You know? I don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> that was powerful. Yeah, Thank you for sharing that. And thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me back. You're amazing. I adore you. Oh, you thank do you. such good work in the world. Thank you. And it's a true joy to know you. I, I got to be honest. You've been on twice before, like we said. Yeah. But I've learned, like, I someone asked me earlier today, do I listen to my podcast? I don't. But yours I have. Mm. Because there's, like, principle after principle after after nugget, after nugget here, nugget there. And I've written those things down and I've incorporated it into my life. So... Thank you for Thank just you being for that light me. in my life. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah. I bet everyone that knows you feels like they feel like Todd's best friend because you make everyone <laughs> oh, feel so I great. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You betcha. Well, there you go, guys. I told you this was going to be amazing. Tiffany Peterson. If you want to reach out to her and uh, use her services and get to know her better, she has a website called TiffanySpeaks.com. And on Instagram, it's Tiff Peterson. Um, and please reach out to her. Uh, you can see what an amazing individual this person is. I know, she re you know she'll reach back out to you and she'll help you any way she can. Hey, thanks for being here. I love you guys. Thanks for the support and thank you for believing in me.